I think this is the quietest Thanksgiving I've ever known. Of. I wish there was something we could do. But everybody's worried about their loved ones. I know, Tom. It's um, not easy to be thankful this day. We're together. We're supporting each other. Oh, you're right. There's always something we should be grateful for. <laughs> oh, that must be romance. Right. Roman, hello. Well, hey, look at here, Sammy. Uh, what happened to you? Tag team wrestling. Yeah, well, well we're what are you doing? your age? Progressive family, yeah. Uh, no. Come on in. Hey, Come on in, everybody. Uh, hey, you got a place here for the crisp? Oh, here, here, here. Oh. Hey, there you go, pumpkin. <laughs> Is there any news? Roman. Anything? Nothing is confirmed yet, no. Uh, Dr. Horton, may I use your phone, please? Of course. Thank you. I see. Well, I hate to be the one to say it, but from the look on Roman's face, I don't think the news could be too good. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ouch. Hey, look at this. Oh. It's like the entrance of a tunnel. Is we out? I don't know, it could be. Is there any way of finding out? Help me. Somebody please help me. They should be at Element's home soon. They said they'd give me a call once they find something. Oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord, let them be all right. You're right. Tom, we can't lose faith now. Alice would never forgive us if we did that. You're right. Hey, Grandma always said Hortons are survivors. Hey, you're right about that, kiddo. <laughs> hey, Dad. Remember the time we had to raise all that money for the hospital? Oh, we all pulled together and put on that variety. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah Grandma was in that, too. She told me she dressed up like Groucho Marx. Oh, but I'll <laughs> never forget Don that day. Oh, oh, Alice, goodness. she told me if I laughed once, then I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> You say the secret word, and you may win a prize duck, and I'll let you take me out to dinner. Scram! You're guessing right? Guess again. How would you like to have that hanging in your grandfather clock? You say they're often running a bell in the mouth. I say, nag, nag, nag. You realize that I have very little compassion for anyone who comes to me for help? I'm very busy. A little behind in my work. <laughs> Surely you remember me, Dr. Fraud. Surely you do. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. <laughs> my word, absurd. Dr. Shrinkman <laughs> Freud never forgets her. What? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Well, how do you... <laughs> we must certainly get on with the session, Dr. Freud. And you certainly realize that you came to the right person. What is it going to cost you, 50 bucks? <laughs> so pleased to meet you. Mom's, Mom's right. Hortons are survivors. And she is going to survive this, too. Right. Well, I'm going to crawl ahead and see if I can find the others. I'm going to go with you. I can pull my weight. Oh, you Brady women, you're all alike. Come on. Hortons, all right. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm coming. I need you. Get... I'm coming, all right. You're right. Hold on. Thank God. You all right? Yes, I just want to get out of here. Okay. What about the others? Where are they? Do you know? Um, Jack and, and Jennifer and Francois, they're in the tunnel. They're fine. I don't know about Shane and Caleb. But... Okay, good. Let's get you out of there, because I have to get you to see Mrs. H. You found her? Yeah, I found her, but she's hurt. I'm not sure what's wrong with her, though. Okay. Watch out. I try to push this off you. Yeah. Oh man. What's wrong? This thing is a little too heavy. I'm gonna have to do something else here. Try to rest, Grandma. Darling, I can't. I just uh... Sometimes it's easier to be the one who's in trouble than the one who has to watch and worry. Remember the time that Tom went to Chicago for his surgery? Of course I do. Oh, I just the thought of possibly losing him. I was, I was never so scared in my whole life. Just so lonely without you. How did you know I missed you? Because I missed you. Darling, you made the drive here to Chicago almost bearable. A beautiful picnic. You know, there was only one thing wrong with that picnic. Not the company, I hope. Oh, no, certainly not. But you promised to make a pass at me over the turkey sandwiches. And I waited? I completely slipped my mind. Slipped your mind? I've never been so insulted in my life. Tell you what. On the way home, I make a solemn promise. I'm going to make you a promise, too. What sort of promise? When you come back to this room after surgery, I'll be here waiting for you. Definitely. I'll be under very heavy sedation. I may not even know you're here. All right, then you make me another promise, now. Any, anything. Just remember, I'm going to be here. Now, you tuck that away someplace back in your mind. And even though you're sedated, you'll remember. I promise. Mm -hmm. I counted on Tom coming back to me. He didn't let me down. And I am not going to let him down.